Hi all, in this video we're continuing the update or the chart coloring workbook project that we're working on and this is a really cool one because you go in and it will actually set the back, set the bar color uh, equal to this legend, uh, that'll be the default color, but then all of these are custom colors, which is a good way to impress your boss. And in this video we have to figure out how to loop through each sheet and we have to figure out how to loop through each chart object. And so without further ado, let's start coding. So if you hit Alt F11, that's gonna take you to your modules um, or your uh, VBE, your Visual Basic Editor. And if you click on this, um, I've got a module already called Scratch Pad, and that's what we're gonna be coding. So we're gonna call this Sub um, Scratch. And this is gonna be um, Sheet and uh, Charts, Chart O, which is gonna be Chart Objects. I'm going to declare some variables here, so we're going to go dim. I know that I'm going to be looping through sheets, so we're just going to call that object um, SHT as worksheet. And then we're going to also declare our sheet or our chart object, and so that's going to be CHT as chart object. Now, one of the things that's interesting about these, these uh, chart objects is the chart actually lives within the chart object which is can be a little confusing that's why I broke this video out so that we can kind of go through each one it actually took me a long time to figure a lot of this stuff out so we're gonna go for each SHT in worksheets you've probably seen this before if you've watched any of my videos this is a easy loop to work through to go through every single sheet so the first thing we're gonna do just to make the code simple is we're gonna go SHT select and that's going to select the sheet, the active um, sheet that we're looping through. It's so that you can see what's going on. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go through each CHT in SHT.chart objects. And that's going to loop through every single chart object in that sheet. Now you'll notice that I did put in SHT, which means that it's going to make sure that I'm on the same sheet so that I'm not getting errors where the chart actually lives somewhere else. So we're going to go next on this, and then we're going to go ch CHT.activate, CHT.select, and then we're going to go, and then we're going to throw in a little message box, MSG box. And now the activate and select, that might be a little bit of overkill here, which, you know, it's not going to hurt us because we're just learning how to do this. So we're going to go chtchtname and see, and then we're going to go is now active. And this is just a little message box that's going to walk us kind of through the code so that you can kind of see what's going on. And before we get too far, I do want to show you something that I did to make this easier on my charts. If you click on these charts, it's typically going to say chart one, chart two, chart three. If you click on here and you type in um, upper left and hit enter, it's going to rename that chart. And so I just wanted to show you how to do that, show you that I did that real quick. That way, if you're going through this, it made some sense. So we're going to click F8. Now it's going to select the sheet that we're on. We're already in that sheet. Um, this this loop through each sheet is going to start basically in the far left and go to the far right. Um, that would also include uh, invisible tabs as well. If you you know, um, so first thing we've activated that, we've selected that, and now we've got the chart in the upper left is now active, and now the chart in the upper right is now active, which is this guy right there and then the bottom is now active, and the upper left is now active, which is on the other sheet. And so that's a quick loop to get us through every single sheet and every single chart within the workbook. Hope this is helpful and hope you enjoyed.